All right, what's going on guys and welcome back to the Evans Garage. So today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, the boost gauge and this intercooler swap. So right now uh, my old Dodge doesn't have any gauges on it besides the stock gauges and then I added a uh, uh, ISPRO uh, RPM gauge. Now before I do this uh, intercooler swap here, um, I'm a pretty big uh, like fan of of knowing like what sort of difference do some of these uh, performance parts make to a vehicle when you actually do the changes. Um, and I've been doing a lot of reading and watching uh, uh, Banks performance videos where uh, he, he actually talks a lot, uh, Gail Banks actually talks a lot about uh, air density and the boost gauge and how he thinks the whole boost gauge is dead to him. Uh, and it, it does kind of make sense because uh, when you're looking at just the boost gauge, you're, you know, you're really not getting the full picture because you're just looking at the pressure of what's in the manifold. So, you know, how does that compare to what like the ambient conditions are? What's the ambient pressure like uh, where you live? What I wanted to try and do is measure what sort of effect this new intercooler is going to have versus my stock one that's on there. So how I'm, how I'm going to achieve that is I've been getting into some of these uh, the small electronics called Arduinos and I've been working on uh, just doing like a, a small electronic like base uh, gauge system and you can just take like standard automotive sensors um, and I've made a few videos in the past on like how to interpret those sensors with with the little Arduino you can actually you can calculate density uh, if you know the pr the pressure and the temperature in the manifold uh, so what I've done here is I've just taken I've taken this, uh, this is an Arduino Mega, and then I've got, this is an, a standard uh, automotive air temperature sensor that'll be in the manifold. And then I've got a uh, standard, I guess, automotive uh, pressure sensor. And then I've, well, right here, I've got it hooked up to a regulator to test it. Uh, and then to output it all, this is probably flashing for you, but this is on a OLED screen. Uh, I will actually output what my manifold uh, pressure is going to be so that's I've just got it labeled boost there in PSI and then that air temperature is going to give me a temperature in Celsius and then um, what I've done is down here at the bottom uh, I've calculated the actual manifold air density in kilograms per uh, cubic meter so you know that number is doesn't change uh, very much and you kind of need to go into the you know into the thousands here uh, like of decimals to actually get like a reasonable number to look at and compare. So what I've done is compared it to the standard, uh, one of the standard days uh, that the the Society of Automotive Engineers uses, which is the J1349 standard, um, and compared what my density is in the manifold to that standard day, and then I'll get a I'll get a percentage of I'll get a percentage based on what my boost pressure is and my uh, my air temperature is in the manifold compared to that standard day. So what I'm going to be able to do then is I want to hook up these sensors and I mean I don't have to just look at the density I can look at the pressures and the temperatures but I can I'll get a rough idea of what the pressures and the temperatures are with the stock setup and then once I install the the three inch tubes and the intercooler I'll be able to see what you know what those uh, rough density values are including the temperature and the pressure uh, with the new setup so I'm just finishing just finishing up uh, this little setup now and then I'll you know I'll just rig this up in the truck somehow I've got this you know gauge pod laying around I'll try and throw the screen in there and then um, I'll just set this on the floor in the truck and then I've already extended these wires so I can run them through the firewall and then that'll go into the manifold as well as this guy. I've got some adapters too if I need them. But uh, so right now here, I'll just give you an example. This is set at like, you know, uh, this gauge tells me about 20, you know, 20, just over 20 PSI. So this one here says, yeah, we're at 20, 22.9 PSI. And then the air temperature in here, yeah, according to this, is 19 degrees. So if I take my, this is just a little butane torch. 
and then you know I'll just get the heat going a little bit here I heat this guy up I don't want to melt it and I'll come back here and see what this says yeah and so I went up to you know 28 degrees just roughly there and then my manifold density increases so if I turn my I'll turn my boost pressure down my manifold density is going down and then as I increase it my manifold density will go back up and that's relative to your boost pressure and your temperature in the manifold so there boost pressure going up manifold density going up boost pressure going down manifold density going down if your temperature goes up your manifold density will go down and if your temperature goes down as because the air is more cold and dense uh, your temperature your uh, density will go up so anyways um, I'll get that uh, I'll, I'll get that all hooked up on the truck and we'll you know I'll run it for um, a little while probably a week or so and then get it a, get a rough idea of what sort of pressures and temperatures uh, the stock setups giving me and then and then I'll get this guy hooked all up and then we can do some like before and after comparisons. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what sort of values it gives me. And it'll really allow me to, you know, I guess give me like a, you know, what's the real benefit per cost that I'm actually putting into this uh, setup. All right. So here's where the, uh, the boost pressure line plums in. It's just before, just below the manifold. And then I tapped in a uh, 3 8 MPT uh, for the air temperature sensor just in the back of the manifold and I used a 9 16 uh, drill bit and then a 3 8 inch tap. We're sitting here just starting the truck up uh, at idle right now and the outside air temperature is probably around 26 27 degrees Celsius. All right, we're going down the highway now at 60 kilometers an hour and 1400 RPM. And I will give it some throttle here. Got up to 96 kilometers an hour and 2000 RPM. Fourth gear, 1400 RPM, 67 kilometers an hour. Two thousand RPM, 95 kilometers an hour. 1400 RPM, 69 kilometers an hour. That was 2300 RPM. And 112 kilometers an hour. 1500 RPM, 75 kilometers an hour, fourth gear. So you can see our air temperatures are up now, 37 degrees Celsius. All right, so I hope that gives you a pretty good idea of what some of the before uh, temperatures, pressures, and density values are while um, under certain conditions. Um, so I did a couple pulls there. Uh, once I get the intercooler swap done, we'll do the same type of pulls, doing from like 1500 to 2000 RPM in fourth gear and fifth gear. And we'll see what sort of different pressure temperature and density values uh, that we get once we swap that bad boy in there. So um, 
cheers thanks for watching and stay tuned i'm just waiting on a couple more parts for uh for the intercool intercooler swap to get in and uh and then we'll be able to get going on that and then i've got some other goodies in store here too